What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be unboxing the Apple MacBook Pro. Now first off, before we open this, uh, this does ship natively with uh, OS X Lion. So, that's going to be uh, something that uh, I'm going to be used to. I do have a 27 inch iMac, so I do have uh, OS X Lion installed on that, so that's going to be great. Uh, I did have the choice to grab the MacBook Pro or grab the MacBook Air, but I decided to go ahead and go along with the Pro. A lot of people have been um, talking about the debate between the two, and it is uh, very debatable on what you want. It basically comes down to what's going to be suitable for you. So let's go ahead and unbox this now with the handy, trusty, yet rusty razor blade. Now before we pop her open, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the specs. Let's go over a few of the specs before we get the actual MacBook Pro out. This does have a 2.4 GHz dual core processor with 3 uh, MB of shared level 3 cache as well as 4 GB of RAM with a 400 GB 5400 RPM hard drive. This is a 13 inch model with a diagonal uh, LED backlit glossy widescreen display with 1280 by 800 pixels, Intel HD graphics 300 processor, built in FaceTime HD camera, uh, 8, eight times slot loading super drive, Thunderbolt ports, high speed IO, and mini display port devices, as well as a SDXC card slot, Firewire 800 port two USB 2.0 ports, backlit keyboard and ambient light sensor, pre-installed Mac OS X and Life. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the star of the show. And once we lift up the package, we can see you're greeted with the lovely MacBook Pro with the awesome Apple logo. As well as in the box, you can see that it does have this nice padding at the top here and it does help to keep your MacBook Pro from getting scratched during shipping. So it's very awesome to see that Apple does take care of their products in that way. It does say designed by Apple in California. Let's go ahead and lift her up. See what else we have in there. And it does come with an extension cable for your charging brick. And this is your charging brick here. Let's take a look at what we have inside of here. You can see the Apple logo down here on this microfiber cleaning cloth. As well as we do have a small owner's manual as well as the Apple stickers. We have the Hello contents. Before we actually unwrap the MacBook Pro, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the ports. Now this MacBook Pro does have a lot more ports than the MacBook Air, that's one thing I did like. Uh, starting over here on the left we have the MagSafe charging port. Next up your Ethernet connection, mini display port, Thunderbolt port, two USB ports, SD card slot, as well as a headphone port. Now right here we do have a battery life indicator. A couple things to note, the battery indicator is not present on the MacBook Air as well as the SD card slot is not present on the MacBook Air 11 inch model. It is available on the 13 inch MacBook Air. Right here we have the Kensington lock as well as a DVD super drive. On the bottom we have rubber feet to help ensure that we do not move the laptop around while we are working. Let me go ahead and flip her back to the back here. Come to the Apple sticker. One of the greatest parts about unwrapping a Apple product this is the first initial takeout. And there it is guys, made out of a very shiny aluminum. This is a uh, unibody design. So let's go ahead and take a look on the inside. Now opening up the laptop we can see that they do have a keyboard guard here. And take that off. As you can see here, we have a very nice 13 inch glossy widescreen. We have a very nice unibody design as well as a backlit keyboard. Your power button is going to be over here on the right. Let's go ahead and get this MacBook Pro fired up and ready for business. Go ahead and hit and hold the power button. 
And you can see here we are greeted with the first opening options of setting up your MacBook Pro. You're going to want to pick your language of choice. Now you're going to want to go ahead and just choose your country and region. Now choose your keyboard layout. Select your Wi-Fi network. Now after entering my Wi-Fi information, I am greeted now with the transfer information to a Mac. I'm going to go ahead and hit don't transfer now. Now I'm going to go ahead and enter my Apple ID. After you go ahead and set up your Apple ID, you're going to want to agree to the license agreement. And now you can see that you will be prompted to select a picture for this account. So let's go ahead and take a photo snapshot. And after we've done that, go ahead and press continue. Now we will be prompted with the instructions on how to finish up the setup. To continue, scroll to the bottom of the text and click start using Mac OS X Lion. So we're going to go ahead and go up here to the text, scroll down with two fingers and go to start using Mac OS X Lion. Now you're going to be prompted to enter your password. And as you can see, we are greeted with the iCloud icon and asking us to set up iCloud. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Next, you're going to be prompted on your iCloud instructions. You can use iCloud for contacts, calendars, and bookmarks, as well as use to find my Mac. Go ahead and leave those both checked and push next. Allow find my Mac to use the location of my Mac. Allow that. iCloud has been set up on your Mac, mail accounts, mail, contacts, calendars, bookmarks, find my Mac, and documents in the cloud have been turned on. Then hit done. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. Also hit the subscribe button above. I appreciate that. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you have the MacBook Pro or if you picked the MacBook Air. And also let me know why you picked which one you picked. There's a lot of reasons, a lot of pros and cons for both, so I'm interested to hear in your opinion. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you guys on the next one.